Hey guys, it's Fashion and Valeria and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, as you've probably seen from the title, I am going to be looking for a new apartment in Montreal. It's the time that I find a new apartment. I'm gonna take you guys along with me to see all the amazing apartments I'm touring and also not so amazing ones because of course I'm gonna have some favorite ones and one and some of them are actually not as good as they were like in the pictures and so yeah I'm gonna take you guys with me we're gonna look at all that maybe we'll find the lucky winner so stay tuned and we'll see all right so this is the lobby entrance of the first apartment we're going to be visiting and so this is the first view you see as soon as you walk into the penthouse it's this magnificent view with so many windows and actually the owner told me that he had some contractors take off a wall in between so he could get this amazing view in his penthouse and i do understand him i would have done the same thing and in general this apartment gets amazing light because of all the windows so so from winter to summer you get always this amazing ray of sunlight and then this is the kitchen with the doors that are closed and you can open them so it's kind of an American kitchen here is where he stocks all of his wine I think it's very cool this is the first bathroom which is very beautiful and big and bright so yeah this bathroom is just pretty and then here is the whole view on the master bedroom there's a beautiful bed and the view of course which is the main focus so you can see the bright lights of the city when you're sleeping which i absolutely adore the concept of this is the bathroom in the master bedroom so the same style as the first one and here is all of the closet space so there's quite a few cupboards for me to like put all of my clothes which i have a lot of and i'm just glad that there's a lot of supply closets here's the view from the balcony and yes, this penthouse does come with a balcony, which is a shocker. And you can see from there the tennis courts, which I think is just absolutely brilliant, which is a facility that is available to all of the uh, residents in the condo. And there's also an outdoor pool, which was recently renovated, and that's why it looks so modern. There's also some chairs you can lounge on, and it's just very, very cute. <laughs> In general, the view from the apartment is just incredible. Nothing can beat this. And now I'm gonna show you all of the facilities that are available. So we have also an indoor pool, which is always great for the winter time. And there's the first gym, which is very cute and cozy, perfect for yoga. And the second gym, which is mo mostly focused on kind of core training and running and cycling. And then the owner showed me how the blinds work, which is perfect because this apartment gets a lot of light, so if you want to get that extra shade. And here's the overview of the apartment with a zoom focus on the beautiful city skyline. And this view, guys, I'm just, I'm in love with this penthouse. I definitely want to live there now. <laughs> All right, this next apartment is actually in the Evolo Towers, which is like a very cool district. And this is one bedroom, two bathrooms. And this is the kitchen, very functional, very cute. I like the gray finish on the cupboards. I think it's very nice. And here is inside the kitchen, there's a microwave. So overall, this kitchen looks very functional and I love how everything is in the gray tones. I just think it's very pretty and once you open that door it's a very cute space where you can do your laundry and then here's an overview of the american kitchen which gives a view on the beautiful downtown skyline and the living room slash office and so here's the office which is uh, the owners they set it up because of covid and they're working from home which i think is very cool and honestly who wouldn't want to have a view like this while working from home it's actually a dream <laughs> and here is the living room which again gives a very beautiful view on the balcony and the downtown skyline which i am zooming in for you guys and i think this living room is such a vibe it's very cozy i just want to sit there and watch tv here is the only bedroom so it's the master bedroom which gives a view on the balcony to make sure no one steals your chairs <laughs> no but i'm kidding but 
yeah, here's me opening the door to the balcony, which is only accessible from the living room. And you can see the downtown skyline from here, which I think is just sublime, especially at night. I bet the view is 100 times better. And you can hear the sounds from the um, a lot of cars passing by and the highway. And here's an overview of the master bedroom. Bedroom, sorry. I kind of like the way it looks, but it's very tiny. So yeah, that's a bummer. There's also a lot of uh, closet space because I have, like I said, lots of clothes. So the owners have kind of put like less clothes and more books, which I think is kind of funny, but I do understand they love reading, which is cool. And yeah, I would just use all of this extra space for clothes. And this is the first bathroom, which is very much more to my liking. I love the gray ceramic tiles. It's very modern and chic, kind of in a, kind of in a hotel look. As well, this apartment also allows facilities to residents such as this outdoor pool and some lounging spaces for that summertime you want to just want to tan. There's also a gym. There's only one gym, which is kind of a bummer, but it's a very pretty and practical gym, which is perfect for all residents. And finally, this is an overview of the living room, and I just love this apartment. This is the third apartment I visited, which is much bigger in space and I just fell in love with those big bright windows that allows the sun to come through. And so once you come in the door, there's a supply closet for winter coats and also a laundry place, which is always useful. And then this is the first bathroom once you come in. It is very bland and not very my style, but it'll do, it's practical. And there's also a supply closet in the bathroom in which you can put a lot of useful things. So overall, just the general closet. And here is me in the mirror, kind of showing you all of the details. Need some decoration though. <laughs> and this is the hallway. And I love that the owners kind of put a big mirror on both sides of the walls. So it kind of gives this impression that the hallway is super big. And then this is the overview of the kitchen. And I think it is a brilliant kitchen. I just love the way it looks. The granite countertop really made me happy because I love everything that is granite. And there's also a beautiful balcony. This is the microwave. And once again, the granite countertop and also a dishwasher which is just perfect and then here is the first bedroom so the master bedroom and the toilet that is annexed to it and once again need some decoration some sprucing up to do it's not my style and then this is the walk-in closet which i'm so grateful for i really love that love the space the fact that you can put a lot of my clothes in there so yeah this is just perfect for me and my youtube account which loves to do fashion hauls and it's a pretty good size for a bedroom there's also a beautiful there's also a bassinet it's just so cute and yeah this is the view you can see like the little condos and townhouses down below i just love the vibe it's so familial it's so cute and this is the overview of the living room, which is so sleek and chic. It's very my vibe. I really loved it. There's a big bright mirror right there. And the view is pretty decent, I would say. Since we're only on the 10th floor, you don't get as much as like a beautiful view as the other ones, but still decent and still grateful for that view. And I just, and this is the second bedroom, which is smaller in size, but you can turn it into a office or game room or even sports room like they did and the view on the other Evolo towers and I just love the view even though it hides the downtown Montreal and once again this is the view from the balcony so I would say this apartment was very nice but unfortunately I would not see myself living there as you can't really see downtown Montreal and that's what I'm looking for but still overall very nice so these were all of the apartments I toured. As you've seen, some of them were really, really good. Like I really enjoyed touring them and the people were just so nice. The tenants and the sellers were just so nice, very instructive. They really helped me navigate through all of the ideas that I wanted in an apartment and what kind of 
idea I had. I just, I feel so grateful because they were just really nice. I really enjoyed touring all of these apartments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's also gonna be a part two and maybe a, even part three. We'll see how I'm gonna devise all of the apartments. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe down below, right here, I think, to join my family of beautiful subscribers. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.